uh, what we are very interested in half Ironman and full Ironman coaching in our place is not, we are very, very interested in getting from A to B as fast as possible, but spending as little energy as possible. And that's where, like Jimmy says, now we can measure it. And we've been testing it and like that. So on some of the pro athletes that we have, we, we're very, very interested in when they get off a training ride of five hours. So we look at how many kilojoules that they spend on this five hours from the power meter, fine. And then we put them on and just do track, track repeats. You've got to be in a place where there's no wind because else it starts again. The power will, of course, you have to break the wind and then your power will go up. So on wind still days, so we actually done it over six months with a very good runner down in Brazil. And we have seen, and then when we go into the track and do like 30 times 800 with 200 jog between, and then we just look all the time and just ride and ride and ride and we just go like, oh, is the power going up and how is the speed going? So that gives us an indication. Then what we do is we go in after 10 rounds and we go like, okay, what are you thinking about? I'm thinking I'm tough. Well, that's not going to help you. It's going to help you get to the finish line. It's not going to create a movement. So we're going like, that's good. Keep being tough, but we know you're tough. What movement are you going to think of the next 10 rounds? And then he thinks of these 10, this movement, like it can be like, okay, shorter arms to get a higher cadence because the arms and legs, they go together, whatever. And then we see again, is the power dropping a little bit and the speed stays constant. And then we get some data that we can go like, now my friend, when you're out there in Queen K, I want you thinking about your arms. When you're starting to go like, whoa, do your arms, that works, it keeps you efficient. So he's, he, th there you get one tool straight away. And it, so it, it is, you can use this straight away in that way. Thanks. Can I actually speak to that? Yeah, sure, Jim, go ahead. So in my book, Run With Power, I, I talk about a type of run that does that exactly called envelope running, where you kind of push the speed uh, I call it pushing the envelope basically where you're holding back and you're doing making changes to your technique and and seeing how that power to speed ratio goes and uh, I was doing I've been doing this with athletes long before power meters but now really the athlete can even see okay well even though my speed maybe didn't improve the watts to produce that speed have declined so that's that that in itself shows uh, the, yeah, more efficiency the exact exact thing uh, Frank's talking about. So, yeah, that's in the book as well. 